All right, everybody, I went really over on that topic, so I want to move on and close the show here with my favorite part of the show, gun talk. And today I want to talk about the new Beretta, the new 92X Performance Defense. I assume everyone has seen this by now. What this is, it is a carry version of the 92X Performance that has been lightened down and cut for a red dot. So now you can actually buy a Beretta already cut for a red dot right from Beretta and it's an all metal gun, metal frame, metal slide, and of course metal barrel and other parts. But uh, this is not a nice thing because a lot of people have always wanted all metal uh, Berettas. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is not stainless. A lot of people make mistakes thinking this is stainless. It is carbon steel that has been coated with a silver coating which is a proprietary coating, I believe, and I don't remember the name of it. But this is a pretty awesome little gun. And they say they've lightened the frame and the slide. Now, I see that they've lightened the frame by taking off the rail, because I guess they assume the carry version doesn't need a rail. Uh, as far as the slide, I don't know, maybe the lightning they did is just cutting out stuff for the red dot, but it says they lightened the inner part of the slide. They milled off some parts on the inside of the slide to make it lighter. But overall, uh, the 92X Performance is a heavy gun. It's uh, 47.6 ounces, and uh, the new gun is only lightened down to 42.7. So that's only a 4.9 uh, ounce difference from a 47 and a half ounce gun down to a 42 and a half ounce gun. You know, basically a five uh, uh, ounce difference there. So it's not like it's like, wow, this feels like air compared to the other one. It's just going to be a little lighter. And I assume by the time you put a red dot on there, it's going to be just as heavy. So uh, I can't imagine it's really saving a lot of weight, but it is something different. Like I said, if you don't like rails on Berettas, this one doesn't have a rail. If you like all steel Berettas, all steel. If you want it to be cut for an RMR, it's cut for an RMR or a red dot. I always call them RMRs like, you know, like jello kind of a thing. I misused the term. Uh, but there you have it. Now, the only thing I will have to say that you should be aware of with this gun, that it is different than other Beretta 92Xs and other Beretta 92s, 96s, etc. It is not a double action, single action with a decocker. There is no decocker. The uh, uh, safety is frame mounted instead of slide mounted. So it does not have a decocking device. Uh, if you cock the hammer, you have to carry it cocked and locked. When you rack the slide to rack around, you carry it cocked and locked like you would a 1911. The big difference between it and a 1911, though, is if you decide, like, over your clearing bucket at home or whatever, you want to squeeze the trigger and lower the hammer, hammer manually, uh, it is double action trigger once you lower the hammer. So if you lower the hammer and carry it hammer down, uh, you can pull it and just pull the trigger. But the thing is, I do believe, and I, I can't verify this right now, uh, because I forgot to check for the video. I am afraid that the safety might be able to go on even with the hammer down, which that's bad because you don't want the safety to go on with the hammer down. But if you just practice taking the safety off no matter what, like the first thing you do is thumb that safety off, hammer back or hammer forward, you'll still be able to pull the trigger and fire. Uh, that's the only thing you should really be aware of other than the fact it's not stainless is that it is a little bit different when it comes to operating than a regular Beretta because it is does not have a decocker. It does have a frame mounted safety, which a lot of people have wanted for a long time. I don't know why, because if you know how to use the uh, safety on a Beretta, it works just like a regular frame mounted safety. So I've never understood. I think people think they have to push it up somehow. No, you flip down on the little... I'll, I did a video on that. I'll post that sometime and let y'all repost that so people can see that. But like I said, that's the new news in the gun community right now. The Beretta 92X Performance Defense, a slightly lighter, rayless version of the 92X Performance that is also cut for a red dot.